feel like they um, they don't very rarely swing my slider, uh, which is pretty uh, curious. I felt like our team was being accused of something that wasn't happening. All right, so this one's pretty good right away. A little spicy, pretty interesting. Also interesting, two out of three men are going to experience some form of male pattern hair loss in their lives, and you got to go to Keeps to help prevent that. They're sponsoring this breakdown. Let's get right into it. Obviously, Robbie Ray thinks some fishy stuff was going on. Brandon Hyde takes exception to that. Here's how it played out on the field before those interviews. So all the action happened in the second inning of the Orioles-Baltimore game, and that fastball is absolutely tat Dude, off the wall, going to go for a triple. It's a fastball. It's hit hard. Robbie Ray has about a 55% whiff rate on his slider, except when he pitches in Camden Yards. He's got like a 35. It's still there, but it's down. That pitch, he wants the curveball for a strike. That's a swing and miss at a slider. So that's something that he's used to getting. That's a really nice pitch. Let's watch it again. Really nice pitch. He's used to getting swings and misses on those, but he's going to start to feel a bit funny about the idea that they're taking some of them. He liked that one a lot. It got taken. So he's going to start to just throw a bunch of sliders in a row. He's going to shake the fastball. And he's going to say, let's throw a slider again. Let's see what's going on here. It's my best swing and miss pitch. Here's another one. And he takes it again, no interest in it at all, gets the call by the ump for the strike. So now it's 2-2, and he's going to go slider again. And that, the batter had no interest in that one either. It was inside, wasn't a strike. And you can see Robbie Ray start to think, 3-2 pitch, slider, and he was all over it. And I was in the zone, was right there in 3-2. You should be doing that. And Robbie Ray's thinking, he's like, what's going on here? What's this all about? Let's go back to the fastball. And he's pretty behind on that one, kind of a weird swing. 3-2 pitch, back to the slider. Doesn't take, doesn't swing. So he's on first base. So now what Robbie Ray does is he's going to throw like four or three fastballs in a row and see what's going on here. There's a fastball and a big old swing for strike one. He's like, okay, they're hunting the fastball. There's a fastball. It's high. So he takes it. 1-1 one, one pitch, another fastball in the zone, another big swing. All right. And now he's thinking, huh, they're swinging at the fastballs. They're not swinging at the slider. What's going on here? Let's try a slider. Okay, swing. So he's getting swings. That's where I'm confused. He starts looking into the dugout of the Orioles because he's trying to notice what's going on, and there's some yelling every time a slider comes, according to his brain. So you can hear they start yelling, on delay. Couple of seasons. And he steps off. Shut up. Shut up, DJ. I don't know if that was him saying shut up, but someone told DJ to shut up. I'm guessing DJ Stewart, and he's just looking into the dugout and kind of saying, I'm on to you guys. You're yelling every time I'm about to throw an off-speed pitch. I got it. Now, Brandon Hyde hears this. Here's one of his players being targeted. Decides that he's got to stick up for his team. What's going we on with this delay here? But... We can't say anything. Just the fucking ball. We ain't saying shit. Yeah. So now they're just going to start yelling on delay all the time here, and that is a fastball. And if on delay was the code word for slider, and now they're just yelling on delay to get off the scent, he just swung and missed at a fastball. I have no idea, though. Now, I think what Brandon Hyde meant to say is get your fucking ass back on the mound or fucking ass back on the mound. But he, he messed up. He said back in front of ass. So this sentence just kind of comes out weird. Fucking back ass on the mound. I don't think that's the proper order, but it's heat of the moment. And now Robbie Ray standing on the pitcher's mound in the middle of the inning says, let's go. Come on. You want to keep yelling at me? Come on. Robbie Ray, according to some reports, he's got a little psycho in him, which I like. A little psycho. Oh, that's where he's hollering at. Yep. He's hollering at Robbie Ray. So Hyde's saying that they're not saying nothing. Not saying shit here. We ain't saying shit here. It's kind of beer here, beer here. Ain't saying shit here. He's kind of like just like, you know, the guy that sells beer, I guess. What are those guys called? Comment below what those guys are called as I have a brain fart. Anyway, fouled off. He's got two more outs to go. He's got a runner on first and third. That's the swing and miss he's used to there. Mullins having a fantastic year. (laughs) <laughs> and now they're just yelling on delay nonstop just to, just to mess with them. Finally, finally, finally. 
Fastball, swings and miss after three on delays. So I, it's just, you know, baseball players are paranoid at all times. You never know what's going on. The stats don't really confirm what Ray was saying, that they just don't swing at his slider. They're still swinging at it a decent amount, uh, just not like as much as normal. But it's not shockingly bad numbers. That's another fastball, I believe, that just got tattooed. For the third out, he gets out of it. And as he walks off, he gives Brandon Hyde a couple more stares and looks and says, yeah, I did that or whatever. I don't know. And Hyde's like, okay, all right. He's looking at me. And then he's going to take off the hat and show his luscious locks to the umpire. And he's just going to let everyone know, hey, do you have nice hair? Do you want to keep your nice hair? Well, if you're ready to take action, you got to go to K-E-E-P-S dot com slash John Boy. Or click the link below and you get 50% off your first order. K-E-E-P-S dot com slash John Boy. Keep yourself some Robbie Ray hair. I understand that some of my language was picked up on a mic by our dugout. I just wanted to, um, you know, apologize to all the fans out there. Uh, the Blue Jays, Robbie Ray, uh, Charlie Montoyo. Uh, there's no excuse for that. And and uh, so I wanted just to apologize and, and uh recognize that that was unprofessional on my part. You know, I'm not going to waste my time with someone that doesn't get in the box. So, um, you know, I don't have the time of day. Yeah, I was surprised. And that's why it caught me off guard, to be honest with you. And that's kind of why I reacted the way I did, just kind of sticking up for our guys. We, we do things the right way here. We don't, um, we, we play the game the right way and we do things the right way in the dugout. So to uh, just being, I felt like our guys were being targeted a little bit and, and, and I, um, I wish I would handle a little differently than I did. 